course, cigarettes are no stranger to the negative spotlight. As countless studies have shown, they're addictive and they can be hazardous to your health. All of which has many people turning to electronic cigarettes to help them quit. But they are also getting some bad feedback. The FDA, the Department of Transportation, even the city of New York are all hot to put out this new smoking trend. Local 2's Rachel McNeil reports that the e-cig controversy has a lot of folks fired up. Mind me smoking? It's not a real cigarette. From movies... Now I do this. Now I do the, uh, the electronic cigarette. I've, ne you know, I've never heard of this. It's to celebrity confessions. It's got a bejeweled bottom. Uh -huh. <laughs> All sorts of people are puffing away. Everything you're looking for in the cigarette, you're getting with the electronic cigarette, aside from the 4,000 chemicals and the 65 carcinogens. Greg Miner was so sold on the idea, he began selling them in Houston and accidentally became a former smoker. Next thing I knew, 24 hours had passed and I hadn't smoked. Same story at James Maupin's house. I still actually have a couple packs of cigarettes in my garage that haven't been touched in the last five months. E-cigarettes are basically a metal tube, battery, and an atomizer that heats up a small cartridge of nicotine, turning it into a vapor. When you get them and you start playing with them, you realize there's something there. But what exactly is in there has the Food and Drug Administration concerned. Its test showed nicotine levels were all over the map, many times not matching amounts on the labels. They're not regulated, so you don't know what's in and what might not be there. Cessation expert with MD Anderson Cancer Center, Dr. Paul Sincerapini, is all about quitting but at what cost do we say let's have people just do anything or do we endorse the things that work minor insists for some people these do work but he's on board for regulations guaranteeing nicotine quantities and restrictions on selling to children two huge bones the FDA is doggedly pursuing but but to totally ban the sales or use of these to an adult um, is in my book, unacceptable. Last month, the courts ruled not only are e-cigarettes not nicotine delivery devices, but since companies don't advertise them as quitting tools, the FDA can do little more than monitor advertising, just like with real cigarettes. But no sooner had that victory come than the city of New York decided to jump on the bandwagon. And then this month, the U.S. Department of Transportation hopped on board to keep travelers from puffing away on planes. That ban could happen this spring. From a public health point of view, you, you don't want to be advising people to do something that is not yet been shown to be um, clinically effective. Former smokers say they don't need safe, just safer. Something much better than I would have if I stayed with regular tobacco. Whether or not that is true depends on clinical testing, but since Serapini says with a market already flooded with a product with quality control issues, that's not going to happen. Take a step back from the situation and look at these for what they truly are, which is a life-saving device for a smoker. The FDA could appeal to the Supreme Court. New York City's ban awaits a vote, and the FAA says e-cig smokers should expect an official ban by summer. Rachel McNeil, KPRC, Local 2.